Six foods that help you poop and relieve constipation. Eloise Best Eloise is an everyday health expert and runs my vegan supermarket. A vegan blog and database of supermarket products. Read full profile. Nobody likes to talk about constipation. But it's actually a huge issue. Affecting over 42 million people in the U.S. According to research. If this is such a big issue. What's causing it? Well. There are some common eating habits which contribute towards poor digestive health. And we've listed them below. Fiber is material that your body can't digest. And getting enough of it helps prevent constipation. By providing material for a stool to form around. Fiber is found in plant foods like fruits, vegetables, grains and legumes. You can also take fiber supplements. Although incorporating fiber into your diet naturally is normally a better option. Do you regularly experiment with new diets? Or dramatically change your what you eat on a daily basis? A sudden change in eating habits can contribute to digestive problems as your body struggles to adjust. Avoid this by making any diet changes slowly and gradually. Instead of making a big change all at once. This is true even if you're switching to a healthier diet, even changing to a high-protein or high-fiber diet can cause problems if it happens too fast. It's easy to become dehydrated without realizing. And this can contribute towards digestive problems. Drinking plenty of fluids ensures that stools stay soft. Reducing the risk of constipation. Try setting an alarm on your phone to remind you to drink water throughout the day. Or keep a large water bottle handy at all times. If you're not at a healthy weight, that could be contributing to your digestive problems. Weight problems also indicate that there may be a problem with your diet. Seeing a dietitian to discuss the issues you're having and come up with a personalized diet plan is a good idea. There are two types of fiber. Soluble and insoluble. And it's important to get a good balance of both. Insoluble fiber makes your stool bulkier. Which helps it to pass through your system. Soluble fiber attracts water. Which makes stools softer and easier to pass. It's really important to introduce fiber to your diet gradually. And drink plenty of fluids at all times. If you don't do this. You could risk making the problem even worse. Have you ever tried any of these foods that help you poop? Try adding them, you'll be surprised by how much better you feel. Strawberries have edible seeds, which makes them high in fiber and great for digestion. They're also really tasty, and easy to add to a dessert or enjoy as a sweet snack. Black beans contain plenty of soluble fiber, which makes them a great choice if you need more fiber but aren't keen on eating loads of fruit and veg. Add black beans to a chili, or use them to make delicious meat-free tacos. Prunes are high in fiber and also contain sorbitol, a natural laxative. You can eat prunes whole, add to a smoothie, or drink prune juice. This food is often recommended by doctors, a good indication that it works. Broccoli includes lots of insoluble fiber, which is essential for healthy digestion. Add it to soups and stews, or steam as an easy side dish. Try to incorporate plenty of vegetables in every meal to keep things running smoothly. Next time you go down the cereal aisle, Look out for boxes that say, high in fiber, usually bran flakes or muesli. These cereals are a great way to kickstart your digestive system and set you up for the day. Oats contain soluble fiber that will help your digestion. And they also make a super filling breakfast. Try adding fruit for an extra boost of fiber in the morning. Eloise is an everyday health expert and runs my vegan supermarket. A vegan blog and database of supermarket products. Julie McCormick Julie McCormick is a writer and co-owner of the Cleveland Leader, a Technorati Top 1000 site. Read full profile. Have you ever noticed that some people are able to effortlessly remember even the most mundane details and quickly comprehend new things? Well, you can too. Learning how to improve memory isn't as difficult as you might think. To unlock the full potential of your brain, you need to keep it active and acute. Wasting time on your couch watching mindless television shows or scrolling through social media is not going to help. Besides getting out flashcards, what can you do to help remember things better and learn new things more quickly? Check out these 10 effective strategies on how to improve memory. Physical activities don't just exercise the body, but it also helps to exercise your brain. Obesity and the myriad of diseases that eventually set in as a result of being overweight can cause serious harm to the brain. So when learning how to improve memory, exercise is king. Furthermore, without regular exercise, Plaque starts to build up in your arteries, and your blood vessels begin to lose the ability to regulate blood flow. 
Plaque buildup reduces the amount of oxygen and nutrients that your blood carries to your brain. When the nutrients don't make it there, the brain's ability to function is compromised. One study in particular found that exercising four hours after learning significantly improved memory retention. The researchers suggested that, appropriately timed physical exercise can improve long-term memory and highlight the potential of exercise as an intervention in educational and clinical settings. To improve your memory, make sure you get moving every day. Even if it's just a brisk walk, it'll help you maintain and increase your mental acuity. Brisk walking, swimming, and dancing are all excellent activities. If you have trouble finding time to fit in a workout, check out this article, 5 Ways to Find Time for Exercise. Any risk factors that cause you major stress, like anger or anxiety, will, in time, begin to eat away the parts of your brain that are responsible for memory. Amongst the most brain-damaging stressors is depression, which is actually often misdiagnosed as a memory problem since one of its primary symptoms is the inability to concentrate. One study assessed memory in 3,999 veterans and found that depressive symptoms, without anxiety, had an adverse effect on immediate recall of new information and the total amount, but not rate, of acquisition. If you can't concentrate, then you might feel like you are constantly forgetting things. Depression increases the levels of cortisol in your bloodstream, which elevates the cortisol levels in the brain. Doctors have found that increased cortisol diminishes certain areas of the brain especially the hippocampus, which is where short-term memories are stored. Prolonged depression can thus destroy your brain's ability to remember anything new. Seek professional help to combat your depression and any stressors causing it, your brain will thank you. Getting a consistent 7-8 to eight hours of sleep each night will help you in your task of learning how to improve memory. During sleep, the brain firms up memories of recently acquired information, especially during REM sleep. Getting enough sleep will help you get through the full spectrum of nocturnal cycles that are essential to optimal brain and body functioning during the waking hours. On the contrary, sleep deprivation can put a huge dent in your ability to form memories. Another helpful strategy is to take a nap during the day, especially after learning something new. This can also help you to retain those memories, as well as recharge your brain and keep it sharper longer. However, the length of your nap is also very important. Scientists in one study, found that people who napped for 30 to 90 minutes experienced better word recall. 50 to 60 percent of the brain's overall weight is pure fat, which is used to insulate its billions of nerve cells. The better insulated a cell is, the faster it can send messages, and the quicker you can think. This is precisely why parents are advised to feed their young children whole milk and to restrict dieting. Their brains need fat to grow and work properly. Skimping on fats can be devastating even to the adult brain. Thus, eating foods that contain a healthy mix of fats is vital for long-term memory. Some excellent food choices include fish, especially anchovies, mackerel, and wild salmon, and dark, leafy green vegetables. Deep-fried foods obviously contain fat, but their lack of nutritional value is not going to help your brain or your body. So think healthy foods and fats first. According to Larry McCleary, MD, author of the Brain Trust Program, an egg is the ideal breakfast. Eggs contain B vitamins, which help nerve cells burn glucose, antioxidants that protect neurons against damage, and omega-3 fatty acids that keep nerve cells firing at optimal speed. If you want to learn how to improve memory, breakfast is incredibly important. Other foods to add to your breakfast include fruits, veggies, and lean proteins. Avoid trans fats and high fructose corn syrup. Trans fats diminish the brain cell's ability to communicate with each other. And one study found that HFCS can actually damage the brain by promoting brain insulin resistance. Having a healthy breakfast in the morning has been shown to improve performance throughout the day. Don't skimp on this important meal. Nowadays, it's fairly uncommon to write down notes with a pen and paper. When we go to class or meetings, we take our laptops and use that to mark down important ideas. However, Recent research has suggested that may be doing us more harm than good. One 2014 study found that, even when laptops are used solely to take notes, they may still be impairing learning because their use results in shallower processing. You can start a journal, write yourself emails, or even start keeping a blog. All of these activities will help to improve your capacity to remember and memorize information. Most importantly, if you're going to class or to a big meeting, Consider taking notes by hand instead of on your computer.
Research shows that certain types of music are very helpful in recalling memories. Information that is learned while listening to a particular song or collection can often be recalled by thinking of the song or playing it mentally. Songs and music can serve as cues for pulling up particular memories. If you're looking into learning how to improve memory, this can be a great thing to try. Listening to music has been shown to specifically benefit the memorization of words. One study found that young adults who listen to music while memorizing a list of words, as opposed to listening to environmental sounds or silence, performed better when asked to recall the words. Next time you have to memorize a speech of want to compete in a spelling bee. Try listening to music while studying. You may be surprised by how much it helps. Pay attention to photographers, charts and other graphics that might appear in your textbook, or if you're not studying a book. Try to pull up a mental image of what it is you are trying to remember. It might also help to draw your own charts or figures. Or utilize colors and highlighters to group related ideas in your notes. Another strong visualization technique for memory is the memory palace. This essentially involves imagining a place you know well, your house or a former school. For example, listing distinctive features of the place in your mind, and begin to associate those features with things you want to remember. Then, when you need to recall information, you simply go the specific room or object where you stored the information in your mind, and it will come to you. For more information on how to build a memory palace, check out this article, How to Build a Memory Palace to Remember More of Everything. Reading material out loud has been shown to significantly improve memory of the material. Expanding further upon this idea is the fact that psychologists and educators have found that by having students teach new concepts to others, it helps to enhance understanding and recall. One study pointed out that this increased memory specifically because it forced students to recall the information in order to teach it. Teach new concepts and information to a friend or study partner, and you'll find you remember the information a lot better. Studies have shown that doing crossword puzzles, reading, or playing cards on a daily basis helps to delay memory loss, especially in those who experience cognitive decline in the form of dementia. So, pick up the daily newspaper and work on that crossword puzzle, read a book, or enjoy a game of solitaire if you want to boost your memory. Everyone has the ability to learn how to improve memory and boost their brain power. And everyone will find that different strategies work for them. Try out some of the above in order to get a feel for what works for you. Current biology, physical exercise performed 4 hours after learning improves memory retention and increases hippocampal pattern similarity during retrieval archives of clinical neuropsychology, the effects of depression and anxiety on memory performance sleep medicine, memory. Sleep and dreaming, experiencing consolidation Johns Hopkins medicine, can a nap boost brain health. Current neuropharmacology, impact of dietary fats on brain functions nutrients, dietary omega-3 fatty acid deficiency and high fructose intake in the development of metabolic syndrome. Brain metabolic abnormalities. And non-alcoholic fatty liver disease psychological science, the pen is mightier than the keyboard, advantages of longhand over laptop note-taking music I scienti, the positive effect of music on source memory applied cognitive psychology, the learning benefits of teaching, a retrieval practice hypothesis J in neurocycle SOC, association of crossword puzzle participation with memory decline in persons who develop dementia. Text source, lifehack.org.